The mark and the number of the beast from Revelation 13 are not prophecies about the future. The long-standing scholarly consensus. The academic consensus is caught swallow. The book claims to be prophecy five times. Revelation 1, 3, 22, 7, 10, 18, and 19. But please continue. The mark of the beast and the number 666 are apocalyptic imagery in reference to the emperor Nero. Now, Nero had been long dead by the time the book of Revelation was written, but there were traditions in circulation that pop up for several more centuries that Nero had escaped to exile or would be coming back from the dead and either way would return to take over rule of Rome and reinstitute persecution of Christians. For all the times we've heard the repetitive oration data over dogma, Dan's doing a pretty good job here leaving some data out and twisting what he does present. After Nero's death, there was belief, especially in the eastern provinces, that he was not dead and would sometime return, but this is seen in Suetonius, Tacitus, and Theo. These were pagan beliefs, not Christian beliefs. The early church saw the book itself as prophetic, and it was written during the time of Domitian in the 90s. Number 666 uses gematria to encode the name Nero Caesar. If you take the name in Greek, Neron Kaiser, and you transliterate it into Hebrew characters, and then you add up the numerical values of the letters of that name, you get 666. I'm actually surprised that he is putting this out considering the fact that he knows Hebrew. The first problem with this is why are they using Hebrew gematria and not Greek gematria? especially since John spoke Greek, wrote in Greek, and he is writing to the seven churches in Asia, which are Greek-speaking churches. So it's very odd to think that they would use the Hebrew. Second, there is some serious cherry-picking and twisting of the data in order to make this actually fit 666. In order to make this work, they use Nero Caesar. In Revelation 13, there's no mention of a title. It says his name. This is adding the title. Second, they have to remove one of the letters in the Hebrew spelling. They use the letters Kaf, Semek, and Resh. However, Caesar is Kaf, Yod, Semek. Resh. So to make this fit, we have to change it over to the Hebrew, even though it's going to Greek-speaking people. We have to add the title, which is not stated in the passage, and we have to remove one of the letters in the title in order to make it work. The early church fathers did not see Nero as the Antichrist. Another major point that I find very interesting is people like Dan and Preterists as well, they have an inconsistent interpretation of numbers about the text. The 42 months, time, time, and half a time, the thousand years, that's all non-literal. That's all allegorical. That's spiritual. That's metaphorical. But somehow they take this 666 as literal. The the reason that they are inconsistent is because if they were to be consistent, it would not support their beliefs. There are other glaring issues when it comes to trying to make this fit Nero. He did not institute a 42-month persecution. He did not control the entire world. He did not coerce or enforce the world to worship a single image of him. He was not resurrected from the dead. He definitely didn't receive global veneration. And he did not force anybody to get a mark on their forehead or hand in order to participate in the global economy. So there's your data. Shirts available at warriorsrising.com.